So let's go ahead and draw this Lego block and I'll start with the rectangle by center, lock to the coordinate system plane and the baseline is 32, tab 16 high and I'll go to my sketch view, zoom in a little, add a couple of dimensions, 32 by 16, then I'll go to my circle command and I know my circle is 5 so once I click and accept, hit 5, enter, all the circles after will be 5. And note how I'm lining this up. I'm using the constraints to keep this in order. So let's go ahead and add some dimensions. I know that um, I'm going to turn on my relationship handles so I can see what I've got. I know that this circle and this circle are 8 apart. So I could set up a relationship with all those. And I, maybe I should have used the distance between. I could have came and grabbed this to this, and I know that is 4. And I know this one is 8. And I know over to this one is also 8. And I'll go down the other way. I know this to this is 4. And this to this is 8. Now I may want to add an equal constraint because if I go and add a dimension on any of the ones of these circles, I can see that's 5, but as I roll that in and out, I see that it doesn't maintain all the other ones also. So I'm going to go and type in 5, and now if I go to the equal constraint and say I want this to equal this, this to equal this, and I set all these up, when I go back to my dimension and roll that, I'll see they all maintain that dimension. Now we're ready to go and create the solid. And so to do this, I could turn off my constraints again. I could box pick this. I'll go to the select command, box pick, and make sure you push this down because I want access to those circles. So I'll push that down and then I'll come back to the circles. And to identify more than one of these, see how it just jumps to the next one? No, I want to identify all eight. I'll hold down the control key. And I'm not sure exactly what this measurement is, so I'll just guess. And move that up. I'll turn off my dimensions, my PMI. I'll go to view, high quality, and there it is. Now the Lego block would also be hollowed out, so we could rotate this around and say what we'd like to do is thin wall. So if I go back to home, thin wall, and I'll click on this back face because I want this open, click on that, and I'll see it leaves a wall thickness. And again, I'm not sure exactly what that is. If I type in 1 or 0.5, that'll put in the wall thickness. 